It's gear day. Okay, so as some of you may know, I am a runner. I go to Boston University. I'm just a freshman here. Um, and today is the day that our team is getting gear. Now, I'm super excited about this. It's just, it's awesome. But I'm pretty careful with this type of video because the NCAA is fairly strict about what kinds of videos you can make um, about being an athlete but for the record this is not monetized I don't make money off of this this is just fun for me hopefully for you to watch I just like the whole process of videoing and editing and sharing and just kind of having this documentation of the things that I do so Today is gear day. I'm going to meet up with some of the freshmen now, and then we're meeting some of the upperclassmen are gonna get their gear as well. It's like a limit of 10 people here, so you can't have a group bigger than 10, and we're all gonna have masks on. And yeah, it's pretty hype. So I'll catch you on the other side with some gear. Spoiler alert. Wait, you got sock in it? What? Oh my god, wait, what? Oh, okay. Show me. Oh, that's crazy. What even is it? I think it's like student stuff from like last year. You know how they're like trying to get a shift? Yeah. It's a fast track though. Huge, huge, huge success. Gear day is awesome. I just got back from the dining hall and I already have all of the gear laid out on my bed. It's super exciting. Let's take a look. Okay, so we got the gear here on the bed, but the craziest thing is, this is just one third of the gear we're getting. This was like a mini gear drop which is just crazy to me because it's awesome already. But yeah, there is more to come. So this is just the beginning, I guess. And I'm already super stoked about it. So let's get right into it. Okay, so first and foremost, we have the bag. This bag is definitely going to get its use probably every day here. This is gonna be my school bag, my track bag, just basically everything. I wanna bring this everywhere I go, so. Yeah, this is probably the nicest it's gonna look. I'm gonna treat it well, but it's gonna be used a lot. Rain or shine, snowstorms, it's gonna have to brave the conditions. It's also super practical. It's got the laptop sleeve, plenty of room in there, extra compartments, and this is my favorite, the bottom compartment. That is a unique feature, so pretty awesome. Okay, next, got the classic Gatorade bottle, you know, You've seen it a million times, but it's it's essential. We can slip that right. Uh, probably gonna need two hands for that. But uh, as you can see, I will be able to put that in the backpack when I am not holding a camera. So the t-shirt, and I'll do the shorts at the same time. T-shirt, shorts, these are like, you know, classic runner shorts in the scarlet and white of the dogs. So that's awesome. And then the t-shirt here, I think it's sick that it says TF and XC, so track and field and XC. Um, and so does the bag, so that's pretty awesome. And it's got my initials, which is also very awesome. I'm saying awesome a lot. That's what it is, so best word to describe it. Fits well. Gonna be running a lot of miles in this shirt. I should say most of the clothing is coming in the next gear drop. A lot of winter gear, long sleeves, hoodies, jackets, raincoats, hats, that kind of thing. This one was a small gear drop. Okay, so this is the most important piece of gear out of everything here. This is the laundry loop that we were given to put all of our laundry around, and they do our laundry, which is just so thankful for that. But yeah, they do everything except for like dress clothes and probably jeans. Yeah, so really, really thankful for that. Since it is 2020, the year of the coronavirus, we've got these nice masks here. Looks pretty cool. 
think it's a nice mask. Seems good quality. And finally, two of my favorites here to end this first gear drop are the shoes. So we've got two pairs of shoes here. So BU is an Under Armour school, so the gear is Under Armour for the most part. So these are kind of the nicest trainers that Under Armour makes, the Machinas. They're super sick. BU colors, really excited to use these. Tried them on, they're awesome. I personally have never run in an Under Armour shoe and never really looked at any Under Armour running shoes. But this looks really, really nice. So I'm super excited to run in this. And then these are flats. So these are like lighter. And these are not Under Armour. They're Saucony, which is cool. I guess we were able to get the Saucony flats. They're super light. Saucony I definitely have run in before. I was a big fan of the Saucony guides in high school. That was like my go-to trainer. But I've never run in Saucony flats before. I've never run in flats ever before. Um, which is super cool. I think we use these for workouts. It's kind of that good middle ground between spikes and trainers. Lighter than trainers, heavier than spikes. So you can kind of get that speed without risking injury as much as you would by wearing spikes a lot. If you don't know what spikes are, they're basically super, super light shoes that you use to race in and you can put spikes in the bottom of them for better grip. And yeah, flats are just really light versions of your typical training shoes. Both of them look sick. I tried them on, they felt sick. So happy to have them, as well as all of the gear so far. Super exciting, I'm so thankful. Ready to put in that work. I hope you enjoyed gear drop number one. Should be more to come in the near future. And with that, embrace your life story, spread the love, and I'll see you very soon. I'll go one by one through here. So, first we've got...